Hello everyone, today we are going to see about tape corrections. Uh, in the previous videos, we have seen about what are the different types of errors that may occur uh, during chaining. And this uh, video is about what are the corrections that has to be applied to counteract those errors. First one is correction for absolute length. We already know that if the actual length is greater than or lesser than the designated length, there occurs an error. It can be positive or negative uh, depending upon the type of the condition present there. In case you don't know uh, where the positive and negative corrections will be applied, please do check out the previous videos. Uh, the links are given in the description. So first is correction for absolute length. Uh, the formula for uh, the correction is L into C divided by L where L is the measure length, C is the correction per tape length and L is the designated length. The correction can be positive or negative depending upon the condition. Next is correction for temperature. Uh, like absolute length, the correction can be positive or negative depending upon the condition. Uh, the formula is L alpha into Tm minus T0 where Tm is the mean temperature at the site uh, there may be many temperatures at the site we have to take the mean of it and T0 is the temperature at which it is calibrated at the factory uh, this can be easily remembered by the formula in so, uh, solid mechanics SOM uh, where uh, the change in length due to temperature is L alpha T uh, so here the T is uh, the temperature is substituted by Tm minus T0, that's it. Next is correction for pull. Uh, like temperature, this also has a positive and negative correction. Uh, the formula is P minus P0 into L divided by A, where P is pull in the side. P0 is the standard pull that has to be applied to the, the chain or the tape. Uh, this also can be uh, remembered by the formula in solid mechanics uh, which goes like the change in length due to pull is PL by AE. This is a simple formula. Everybody should know this formula. So you can remember this from this formula. The next is correction for sag. And the correction for sag is always negative. The error is always positive. So the correction has to be always negative. So the formula is W square L divided by 24 P square into N when w is weight of one chain length uh, the unit uh, you have to remember this very uh, this is very important to remember the unit of w is going to be kg or kilonewton or something in newtons and uh, where p is pull and p is also going to be in the same unit as that of w kg or kilonewton and n is the number of base or number of equal lengths and l is the uh, length of the the distance measured so uh, in case you are not given the weight of the chain in kg or kilonewton instead you have give uh, you, uh, you have been given the weight in newton per meter or kilonewton per meter in that case you have to bring the uh, weight uh, to this uh, unit the kilonewton per meter has to be brought to this unit so for that you have to multiply kilonewton per meter into the required distance only then this formula is applicable this is capital w not small w so capital w's unit is going to be kilonewton or kg uh, the, it, uh, just keep this in mind this unit has to be uh, equal to this unit only then this will cancel out and you will get your answer in n has no unit and only then you will get your answer in uh, the length uh, unit is meter only then you will get the answer in meter so uh, the correction has to be in meters so this is how you do the correction for sag and it is always negative and the last correction we are going to see today is uh, the correction for msl msl is mean c level uh, like uh, sag the correction for msl is also always negative so uh, this arises when we go for geodetic surveying uh, in geodetic surveying we will take the curvature of the earth into account so in that case uh, say let's take this our earth is not a flat surface it is a curved surface in that case the original length in geodetic surveying is going to be this say this is the point where i have to measure the original length is going to be this and say the height is h but uh, the line of sight for my theodolite or anything is going to be horizontal
but the answer that we will get is going to be uh, the original height plus x because our line of sight will coincide only with the height corresponding to x so in that case we have to uh, get the correct msl so we have to uh, see the correction is negative so practically we can understand that only when we deduct the value of x from our uh, uh, total value we will get the original value so that is why the correction is negative so in order to find the value of x we go we have a formula here this lh by r where l is the length measured the uh, curve length measured and h is the height and r is the radius of the earth radius of the earth so this is how you do corrections for the tape thank you so much for watching see you guys